the one of the other main things I spoke about, I wanted to, no, just one of the main things I had in the topic title of the stream that I wanted to speak about. This is concerning the one and only Red Bar versus Sam Tripoli. Now, I'm not very familiar with this beef, you know. Before this happened, I really wasn't that familiar with this beef. I think I had a somewhat surface level understanding of what was going on because I know who Red Bar is. I know what he does. I know how he moves. So I just assumed he was just doing what Red Bar does, getting under comedian skins and pissing them off to the point where, you know, Sam Tripoli basically um, threatened to beat him up in real life, went to his house and all that sort of shit. But then when you kind of peel back the layers and you dig a bit deeper... Red Bar's been going at Sam Tripoli consistently for ages. Ages, 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 ages. And also, um, Sam Tripoli's going after Red Bar for ages too. So they've kind of had like a back and forth for a very long time. And this guy here from this channel called Looseless has put together a pretty extensive um, kind of compilation documentary type thing where he basically details where they beef started from and also reveals that Sam Tripoli is willing to go very, very far in order to extract, enact any revenge or comeuppance that he feels needs to come Sam Tripoli's way, needs to come, sorry, Red Bar's way. So I'm going to play this clip for you now so you can see what this guy's on about. But it's a really good clip. Um, I really recommend you check it out. Um, it's called Sam Tripoli docks his Red, new Red Bar studio and says he'll see him soon. I started this channel just a few days ago just to basically share some Red Bar clips because I saw that he came back. I had gone down the Red Bar rabbit hole over the pandemic and most of the people that Mike makes fun of don't even acknowledge or say his name. At least anybody with a large following with the exception of two people. Joey Diaz and Sam Tripoli. Sam Tripoli, however, is someone who I consider to be an unhinged crazy person for real the guy admits to having drug abuse issues in the past you could see it in his eyes that he's crazy uh, I, I, I had a dr bad drug not to be mean as well to Sam Tripoli but for somebody that is clearly spectrumy he has really awful pictures in it and like the way he presents himself online he doesn't do himself any favors like he legitimately looks like he's like do you know what I mean a little bit schizo that doesn't really help his perception it's really bizarre isn't it but but maybe it's, it's something that's so like intrinsic to who he is as a person he can't help it but god almighty man can you not look as cooked out as possible you know maybe maybe don't stick your tongue out all the time when you're smiling maybe don't always look like you you've been up for 72 hours like I don't know man it's just it's mad the problem bad you know Sex addiction, all that stuff, and I'm working through it. And how many comedians have sex addiction? Is that like a thing that you automatically get when you grab a microphone? You become a sex addict. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sam responded to the fact that Red Bar was making fun of clips of Sam Tripoli. So Sam had a right to respond, but Sam's response was to go after Jules and. He basically made accusations that Jules was groomed by Mike and that he's a P-word. Oh, it's Red Bar. Oh, the guy getting busted for pedophilia right now? Anytime, any place. It will stop going from guys grooming Canadian chicks who are 12 year olds. I think at that point he said, uh, hey, well now he gave me the opening to... You can't be calling people pedophiles, man. You call people pedophiles, and unfortunately, even I'm not a fan of the whole, like, you no, know, Red Bar going after Sam Tripoli's kids and stuff. You can't be calling people pedophiles. You just can't. And then also, if you call people pedophiles, you then can't start acting irrationally rage-filled that they mentioned your kids. Like, what did you think was going to happen? No? go all out and so Mike had to take it to a higher level and so he went after his kids did the doctor know that your two kids are brain dead we've already seen that he allegedly showed up to somewhere where Mike David was living or whatever the case may be 
and screamed at him over the video of Mike tormenting Sam Tripoli's kids. Mike, I'm gonna get ya! And you're gonna sing the song you sang about my daughter! I'm gonna fucking get ya! You fucking tough guy! Come the fuck down, you fucking piece of shit! Fucking sing about my daughter! And Joey Diaz claimed that he allegedly stood outside for 10 hours waiting for the guy and Mike never came down. He's talked a lot of shit about a lot of people. And finally, Tripoli hired an investigator and found him in Tucson hiding. Knocked on his condo. He was out there for 10 hours, Tripoli. Tripoli's going to kill him. And the guy wouldn't come down. So Sam Tripoli is the one fool that I feel is really unhinged and actually might do something and of course a lot of people are going to be like oh no sam's not going to do shit i mean there's so many mike davids in arizona you'll never find them even mike himself on a recent episode i think it was this newest episode said oh maybe the fbi is a this kid sounds a bit like a cock anyway, to be fair, to be honest. Why are you so worried if Sam's going to do something anyway? Why is it your concern? Is it read by your dad or something? Don't get me wrong. These guys are all entertaining and shit, but it's not that deep, in it? If they end up dusting up and throwing hands, let them throw hands, innit? If somebody ends up catching a case, catch a case. If somebody ends up dying, they die. It is what it is. Why, why do you give a fuck? Do you know what I mean? This is a bit cocky, to be honest. Red bar, red bar, Sam Tripoli's coming after you. Look, 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 look. It's, I mean, it's a little bit cocky, isn't it? And looking back on it, it sounds a little bit like, what is wrong with you? L let, let it play out how it plays out. Do you know what I mean? Let them fight. Let them dust it, like, whatever, innit? I don't know. It's more entertainment for all of us. Why are you, why are you fucking snitching? <laughs> after me i'm always looking over my shoulder but nobody knows where i live they'll never know i mean he made jokes about like oh every time i'm driving i'm looking behind me thinking that someone's following me and you know sam Tripoli had admitted to hiring a pi to follow mike david and jules and find out what's going on with them plotting something there's something being plotted here right so the fbi doesn't know where i live so shut the fuck up um or do they know where I live? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Joe! Yo, Sam Studio looks... F I mean, um, Red Bar Studio looks fucking awesome, innit? How much money does he spend on his studio, man? Like, he spends fucking bucket loads just to dunk on these comedians. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> He's got a legit, like, TV-ready studio. Like, legitimately. Like, look how lovely the camera looks like. Do you know what I mean? It's just... It's, it's like, artistically put together. There's some art director behind it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... <laughs> it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Nick, I know. Nick, I triggered Nick already. Nick, because he wants me to get good lighting. <laughs> you have low standards. <laughs> Leave me alone, Nick. Leave me alone, Nick. Any kind of backdrop... And some better, a better camera than a flipping webcam for me is a fucking, it, it's fucking watching like Jimmy Kimmel live. Joey, if anything ever happens to me, it was Joey Diaz and Sam Tripoli. Here's proof. Here's all these videos and posts that they think are fine to post out loud. Now I'm just throwing shit at the wall trying to figure out ideas for a video. So I just have this idea in my head. It was just on a whim. I email Sam Tripoli from an anonymous account, something that has never been in contact with him ever. And I say, hey, Sam, did you know that Mike moved to a new studio and he's back? And he goes, I already got his address. He's going to see me soon. That's what he responds to me, and you'll see here in the email chain, I email the first email, and if you want... Imagine how unhinged you have to be as a human to reply to a random person who you don't know and let them know that you're essentially um, thinking of or planning to, I don't know, doorstep the person, uh, dox them, set them up, get them whacked, like... What is he doing? Random email from someone. And you reply, I already know that address. Also have his studio address. He'll be seeing me soon. 
comedians are absolutely stupid, man. Stupid. Yo, Nick, what Nick said here, you could spend 300 pounds double your YouTube views. No, you, Nick, to be fair, you're right. I'm, I'm only adjusting. You're definitely right. If I spent a bit more money and actually took this seriously, I'm sure I could improve my views and all that stuff going forward. At the moment, do I have the ability to do so? Not really. Do I have the time? Not really. Um, when I do have the ability and the time to do so, I definitely will give it a go. I'm not doing it just because of pure laziness. I just legitimately have many, many plates I'm spinning at the same time um, then to concentrate on this. Yeah, I mean, I, I just about got my flipping stream started without it lagging, let alone the cameras and the lighting and stuff. That's something I definitely need to explore definitely in the future. But you're definitely right. I definitely need to spend more attention to it and I'm sure it's going to benefit me, of course, in the long term. But that definitely will come soon. Want to prove it for yourself? Contact Sam Tripoli through his website on the contact email and when he replies to you, your reply will be from his Gmail because he just forwards the mail to that. So this is, I'm swearing to you, 100% legitimate. He responds back to me. I already have the address, and he's going to see me soon. So I go, okay, he's just going to give me that cryptic message, and that's going to be the end of it, and it's all horse shit. Um, but then I write back with a theory of mine and I say you know what I think maybe Mike moved to Tucson because of the gun laws there they're much looser in Chicago it's like really hard to get a gun and licenses and all that shit but in Tucson you don't need a license you can buy a gun privately and no offense man this kid's a fucking knock this kid's a fucking knock looking back on it He's like he basically what um what's that word called? He basically catfished Sam Tripoli into exposing himself and his plans to essentially what going off fucking Red Bar. And then he made a video about it, <laughs> and the first comment I think here, where is it? Oh no, where Mike striked? Whoa, look at this weird update. No, here, see, perfect. Perfect, can you email me the screenshots from Sam's email? So Red Bar, I guess, got in touch with him. This is some weird, narky behavior, but what's the update here at the end? What does it say here? Update, unfortunately, Mike striked my last clips. I was drunk on vacation and saw his messages late, and he chose not to wait until the morning for me to delete them. So I'm only posting three clips unless designated to ask. Okay, cool. Feels kind of bad after the effort I put. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these people are all pieces of shit, innit? It's like a whole shit. It's like, the, oh my god, this kid goes out of his way to essentially prove his loyalty to Red Bar, snitch, set up this whole honey trap to get Sam Tripoli to expose his plan to fucking go murder him, uploads it onto YouTube, makes it, edit it edits it, and puts it together. It's fucking well put together video. And then the guy strikes his fucking channel because of the clips he uploaded. <laughs> Look in here. So it feels kind of bad after the amount of effort I put into this um, to post actual source material in original quality and also give him evidence of one of the worst enemies incriminating themselves. Too many idiots in his close circle convinced him I was threatening him because they actually took the end of the video seriously. Make of that what you will so much have happened this video since it came out i have a new video coming and soon quite a lot to say and more interesting if to share the rabbit hole gets deeper stay tuned now nah, we're not going to stay tuned man you're a fucking nerd you are an absolute dork of the highest order and you got your fucking pants pulled down mate you try to suck up to these guys and they absolutely <laughs> show you up the house <laughs> that's why that's why you should just Honestly, for everybody out there, if you're considering making content about this sort of stuff, just do what I do. Just make the content and laugh from afar. Don't get close to these people. They're not your friends. I don't give a fuck about them. I don't want to be a comedian. I don't think they're impressive. They don't impress me. They're not cool. They're not anything. They're just funny, ridiculous adult children that I get to laugh at is essentially my version of watching the Kardashians right I don't watch the Kardashians because I'm a straight male but I do watch fucking stand-up comedians and get involved in their stupid podcast drama stuff it's funny to listen to it's funny to chat on it's funny to comment on it's funny to make memes about and to post on reddit but that's about it don't try and be their friends 
Red Bar included. He's cool. I like his content. He makes great shit. But look what he did to this guy. <laughs> oh, man. These fucking guys are losers. Can you imagine what their DMs are like, stand-up comedians? With guys trying to beg friend and pretend like they're cool with them and to use inside jokes like they're cool. Ugh. You're a grown man with children, with, with, with fucking friends and families and girlfriends and boyfriends. I have some respect and dignity for yourself. Jesus. Anyway, that's hilarious. And obviously, there's stand your ground laws. You can conceal carry. And there, you don't even have to be at your home. You know, castle doctrine. You can defend yourself with a gun anywhere in public as long as you're fearing for your life. So I respond with that theory also to let Sam know that he's in a place where he could shoot you <laughs> if you showed up and tried to attack him physically or assault him or whatever. And again... Red Bar, Red Bar, he might shoot you, Red Bar. Red Bar, Sam Cripley's coming. He might shoot you, Red Bar. Be careful. Stop uploading clips, Red Bar. Sam Cripley might shoot you. Red, red. Fucking dork i figured he'll never respond to this because the first email was unbelievable enough but sure enough he writes back and responds again with this a screenshot of an some sort of document and it says red bar's name on it and an address obviously information is all censored out because i'm not looking to dox anybody and i find doxing in general it's just a i'm not looking to dox anybody but i'm going to pretend like i'm a sam tripoli fan to set up sam tripoli and expose him online and then upload all the content for red bar so he can be my friend fucking dweeb dweeb bro dweeb low level move Something that when you have no ammunition left, that's the only thing you can do. Fam, you are low level. Your whole existence is low level. You are trying to be friends with fucking middle-aged men who make dick jokes online. Middle-aged men who have, you know, who, who convince themselves vitamins is slang for cocaine. That's who you're trying to be friends with, fam. Are you for real? Go live a life, man. Go on tour. Go on holiday. Travel the world. Hook up with someone, break up with someone, do something, play some games. I don't know, do something apart from this. Holy shit. I feel like freedom of speech and right to privacy go hand in hand. I'm like, well, what is this, some made up bullshit? And underneath it, it says, we got it or someone got it. And they leave a link or something, but it's a whole image. And I'm like, uh, some idiot's probably just trolling Sam, uh, telling him they found his studio and just gave him bullshit info, right? And so I'm not going to obviously show you the information. It's all blurred out here. I'm not giving out the information. I'm not encouraging anybody to do any doxing of anybody. I just want Mike to know that Sam knows where this new studio is. So the problem here is... I look up the address that was sent to me by Sam Tripoli and it leads to a place with places that you can lease, like a business rental lot where you can lease spaces, right? And I type it in and I look and I mean, there's no designation on maps or Google maps that, oh, this is red bars in here. I mean, it's not going to be that obvious. Uh, a lot of people use these things they're like storage lockers or they use them to store inventory and so i was like oh this is all bullshit it just looks like a storage locker maybe mike rented a storage locker and they found that or it's another mike so then i go oh wait mike actually posted a video on instagram where he was showing the building of the studio yeah someone mentioned this oh, this is what i don't get so he's snitching on tripoli for doxing but then he's essentially detailing how he doxed Red Bar himself and found out what, like, what? This whole dox thing as well. This is, honestly, no offense to anybody, but this is, this is some white boy shit, isn't it? Only white boys can sit at home and want to and wanna find out where each other lives. Dox, 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 and share stuff online. Like, what the fuck is this about? <laughs> what is this, all this doxing shit? If you actually have a problem with somebody, turn up to the doorstep and beat them up, right? 
it's on site, on site, on site, on site with them all the time you see them. Or it's just not like, what is this? These motherfuckers don't go outside and touch grass, man. I don't know what the fuck this whole doxing shit is about. What is all this doxing shit? I know where you live. <sighs> all right, congratulations. What are you going to do about it? Like, what? You're going to send me some McDonald's? <laughs> You're going to call a SWAT team? Like, figure it out. I don't know. Fucking hell. And in the beginning of the video, I'm going to show it to you here. He shows an entryway. And then it turns into a room where they're tearing down a wall and then painting all the walls black to create the new Red Bar studio. And so... You're showing me more stuff than I've ever seen myself and I'm a fan of Red Bar. I don't, I don't, I don't even know this. I'm not on Red Bar's fucking social media. I did, I'd never seen any of this shit. So you're putting all the pieces together from me, someone that doesn't know anything, and you're essentially doxing him for me. Looking up this address that Sam Tripoli sent me, I look up all of the lots that are available there, and then all of a sudden I go, oh, wait, this leads to a link of the actual company that owns the lot and leases out the spaces. I'm not going to say what it is, obviously, but I go to this company's webpage, and you can go to the available units and click on the yo, pictures. Yo, this kid has no friends, man. No friends. For fuck's sake, bruv. <laughs> who cares? Honestly, for real. Like, legitimately, who cares? Legitimately, legit. And I'm, and I'm a fan of Red Bar. Somewhat fan of Sam Triple, even though he's a fucking schizo. Who cares? If they go to each other addresses and they want to shoot each other, let them. I don't understand why this is anyone's concern. I really don't. Who gives a shit? They both crossed the line. He called him a pedo and alleged that he flipping groomed his, groomed his now wife or whatever, right? And fiance. He crossed the line with Red Bar. Red Bar crossed the line with him by making a song about his children and shit. Whatever happens, happens now, isn't it? It is what it is. Let it play out the way it plays out. They're two grown ass men. Why are you getting involved? Miss, he said this, he said that, we he said dress, he's this, man. Proper point Dester shit, mate. Of them, and you can see the whole layout of it. It shows you the blueprints of it, but then also has pictures of that entryway. Yes, someone said in the chat, the tism is off the charts on this one, isn't it? The fucking tism is off the... And I don't mind tism too much. Do you know what I mean? But just... Just give me the facts, but don't try and make it seem like this is somehow like a, a concerning thing. It's not. It's just you trying to suck up to, you know, to your new daddy. And then he ended up pulling down your trousers and striking your channel. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and multiple pictures of the whole place. And everything. Nah, 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 nah. William, I'm not having that, man. I'm not having that. I'm not, I'm not the same. I'm not the same. Honestly, if you guys if you guys think I'm the same as this kid, I will quit doing this stuff right now. If you guys think I'm the same as this fucking dork, looseless, I will quit doing these shows right now. I do not want to be viewed like this. This is not what I do. I fall around, I fuck about, make some jokes online, but I'm not here putting together compilations in an effort to make friends with fucking Brian Callen or Chris D'Elia or Eric Griffin. Like, I don't give a fuck about these, man. I'm just laughing at it because it's funny and it's good to waste some time with. But this is not... I'm not trying to be their their, their friend. I, won't, I don't want to be their peer. I don't want to be their, their, their... I don't want them to be, be my dad. I have a dad. I don't need these. I don't need these guys. <laughs> Honestly, William, take that back, William. Take that fucking back. I'm not like this guy, honestly. I swear to God, and if I am, I will end this stream right now. Oh my God, this is horrible. From that site, lines up with what we saw in the video of Red Bar showing the building of his studio. So, Sam Tripoli undeniably has the address and location of Red Bar's new studio. That's 100% fact. I checked it. It's for real. So yeah, I'm just going to be really careful about this because I know oh, people on the no. internet are very... Oh, Red Bar. Sam Tripoli has your address. And what, bruv? God almighty. 
artistic is the word I'm going to use for it. You know, YouTube has changed a lot. You can't say anything anymore. So yeah, I'm going to be very careful about it. So I'm not going to show you the pictures that match the video that Mike posted on his Instagram because I know people will be able to reverse image search that image somehow and then they'll find what I'm talking about. But if Mike sees this, he'll know. No, 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 no. That's what you do. No, we, no one's going to do that. No one's going to reverse image search an uh, image and source code it and put it. Yo, man. Some of the fans, I'm not too, I, I don't know if these guys actually deserve these fans that they get sometimes or if this is just like one of the unfortunate parts of being a comedian. Like one of the lowest forms of entertainment. You also get some of the lowest forms of humanoids <laughs> obsessing over you and everything that you do in it, myself included. <laughs> you know what I mean? maybe it's one of the curses of being a stand-up comedian you get paid an exorbitant amount of money for doing not much work but then you also get people like me and this guy talking about you because <laughs> as much as this as much as he makes me angry thinking about it we're actually the same person aren't we thinking <laughs> Oh my god, we're actually the same person. As much as he pisses me off, we're actually the same person. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're actually the same person. Right? I'm trying to what? I want Brendan to be my dad or something. I want him to be my... <laughs> Oh, this is fucking incredible. What I'm talking about and that it's credible. So that's that's it. I'm just putting the warning out there for him. Whether Sam's going to do anything or not, I mean, I don't know. But in his email, he said, I have his address. He showed it to me. In his email, he said, fucking snitch. In his email, he said, he's even got that fucking voice, isn't it? In his email, miss, he said in his email, he's going to hit me at lunchtime. Fucking hell. He's got a home address and the studio address, and he's saying he will see me soon. And this was just recently, just as recent as I started this new channel. So he said it. He said he will see me soon, cryptically. So I think that's just something I want to put out there. It gives Mike a heads up that he does actually know where you are and where that studio is. So you're not hidden from him. And the thing is, if Sam is unhinged, maybe he won't do something, but he has people who listen to him. Oh my God. If it's not bad enough, he's fucking snitching on Sam Tripoli. He's now snitching on everyone that listens to his podcast. So now if you're a fan of Sam and you're looking out for him because you're, you like him as a guy, you, you've now become complicit to this crime. This crime that hasn't happened, by the way. <laughs> He's now snitching on you before you've even done anything. Now you now you're also a part of this issue. Just because you know you happen to be a harmless fan of Sam Tripoli, you don't know anything about the drama. All you like about him is just that he talks about conspiracies, theories, and shit, and he's funny. And now suddenly, now you're you're complicit in this bullshit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they're crazy enough to believe conspiracy <sighs> theories, I'm sure they're just as much, if not more, unhinged than he is. And so then here lies the problem. If he's sharing that with other people, there's no telling what those people will do. So like maybe Sam is always posturing, but you don't know what the people he gives that information to will do with it. That's the issue. So I just want to put that out there. Somebody has to share this video and give it to Mike so he knows about it. And also, it gives him some ammunition where he can... Fucking cug. Someone has to share this and give it to Mike. Somebody show Uncle Mike that I did, did all this work for him. Say, hey, look, Sam Tripoli is still actively looking for me and has found me and has the information and is giving it out to random people. I was nobody and he gave it to me. So who else do you think he's giving it to? But yeah, Red Bar Studio. Man, shut up, Randall. You fucking snitch, you knock, you absolute nerd. <laughs> oh, but anyway, that's quite interesting, isn't it, to know, right? That is quite interesting to know that um, Sam Tripoli is, I guess, going after um, Red Bar in the biggest way possible by allegedly 
you know, getting a hold of his address somehow. Don't know how he did it, but I guess, you know, we've all got internet and resources and shit. We can all figure out how to do it. But I thought this update was fucking hilarious at the end of it, innit? All the clips that this kid's been uploading onto his channel from Red Bar's um, show uh, got struck down. And clearly all this sucking up he did to him made absolutely no difference because Red Bar treated him like any other person online trying to take money off of his out of his pocket food off of his plate and to take away his ability to support his family by taking down those fucking videos so basically it proves everything that we always know isn't it snitches don't get anything mate you get zero you get com- you get kaputs actually that's what you get stay out of the business man just watch it from afar like we are make some ha ha he he funny jokes and keep it moving this shit is lame you look like an absolute dork what is he gonna say in the update Oh, I read by I thought we were friends and now you don't want to be my mate anymore. Like, fuck off. God almighty, go touch some grass, man. Play, I don't know, what, what's the thing? Play touch butt with somebody outside or something, man. These comedians are not your friends. No one's your friend. You know what I mean? Let alone these guys. God damn it, man. What a loser. Anyway. Um... <laughs> What did you say? Exactly, played yourself for me. Exactly, Dane Payne. Exactly, played yourself for me. Exactly. Um, fucking hell. <laughs> I can't believe after all of that, <laughs> my grand boss still went to stroke that in those videos. <laughs> absolute savage, man. Oh, he's an absolute savage. <laughs> that man has no friends. The only person he's loyal to is, um, who's, who, who's, his, who's his lady? What's her name? Is it Joanne? I forgot her name, right? That's the only person he's loyal to. Everyone else, you, you nah, man. I'm, you're not my friend. Get a, get a fuck out of here. I don't blame him. 